What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I am your host, Justin Turnell, with my co-host, Brian Limper. Uh, I was gone last week, but I'm back. That was last week, wasn't it? That was last week. Yeah, he was. I'm back. I was out of town in Chicago with some other people. Mm-hmm. And now we're back in, in the recording studio. The studio. In my house. Doing what we do. We got a lot of fun, random stuff today. This should be a very unique episode. This is going to be one like we've never had before, let me say that. It only took 185 episodes. To I think hit, it's 185. To get to now. this point, but this one... Is it 185? We're going in blind. Yeah, we are. Oh, it is 185. Good guess by me. All right. But before we get into all this awesome randomness here... Oh, yeah. We're going to react and listen to this new song by Dreamcatcher, which we have not done yet. Nope. Mainly because every time we react to anything Dreamcatcher, including probably now, we get banned in some countries. It gets banned, so it never actually works. Let's see what happens here. This is called Boy Voyage. It just came out a couple days ago. For those of you who don't remember, we were super into Dreamcatcher for a few months before we discovered Pixie. Pixie was way awesomer. (laughs) I guess we already knew about Pixie, but before we saw Pixie live. Is this the greatest anime opening I've ever heard? <laughs> okay, so we got a lot of rock vibes, as Dreamcatcher does. There's wow. a big diamond thing flying. First off, Dreamcatcher Company must be doing pretty good, because my gosh. The CGI in this is out of this world already. It really is. I've okay. heard a lot of positive things, whoa, from our Discord. A lot of Dreamcatcher fans in there, so... I don't know. This is the wildest... What is this floating bunny thing? What is that? Is this like Inception? Like, what's happening What was that, animal? I've lost all focus on this video because that was so creepy. It's like this acoustic guitar happening. Is this a ballad? What in the world? Oh my gosh. Is this because they didn't find the Tree of Life or whatever that was? What? Is this where we're at now? Seriously, is this like the craziest anime opening I've ever heard? Like, this is what's going on. That's what it sounds like. Wow. She protected Sue from getting hit by a lightning bolt. This is interesting. I'm waiting for this little stupid creature to come back around somewhere. I know it's coming. This is, this is the most all over the place. I'm not sure what the heck this video is. Right now. Am I going to say it's bad? No. I don't think it's bad. I just don't it's know just, what's, hap- what's going on. Is Dami painting? She's got like a spoke. Nah, there it is! Yeah, what is this thing? I hate it. Ah! <laughs> it's like a giant Furby. It's weird. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> this must be the getting ready for another uh, tour in America since we got to come back here. I guess. I hope, but my gosh, this is interesting. Oh, there's fireworks? Like, did something good happen? You guys looking good with this short hair. Yeah, it looks so great on her. She's got a lot of FaceTime in this video. I'm just not sure if in the video we're winning or losing, because usually you can tell. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what's happening right now. There's a lot of stuff. I know he's got these butterflies. Did they get their wings? There's like so many different... Sue is still running? This is like really interesting, even for Dreamcatcher. Okay, this is... What is going on? What is this? Come on, what is this video? Doesn't Bon Voyage mean like goodbye or something? Yeah, it means you are sit like, on like a boat like, a, like Bon Voyage. Goodbye to what? Bon Voyage. Let's get that awesome pronunciation. Kudos. What is this big diamond thing? No idea what that was. That was that was the most what in the world interesting. That's my only response to that. What in the world just happened? Well, and what was the point of the weird uh, demon Furby that flew in the air? I hated that. 
Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't hate Whoa. the song. I don't. I, I feel like it was so weird and interesting that I don't even know if I like it or dislike it. That's going to take a little bit of time to sink in. I'm not going to lie. I need the lure of that one because no idea what was up with the horse or Dami painting super high up in the air or the Whoa, diamond well, or fireworks. We'll have or to stew on that for a little bit. But that was uh, Boy Voyage by Dreamcatcher. That was something, and I'm sure it got this episode banned. So thank you because now it's banned and I'm confused. So. Also, I know there was a B-side on this that I saw in the little, like, uh, not music teaser, the little medley track. Mm-hmm. That, like, Dami screaming, like, hardcore vocals I want to check out. So we'll have to listen to that Whoa. later. That sounds awesome. But in the meantime, we've got some stuff to open here. My head right. hurts after that. Okay. All right. So, Justin, what do you have for us today? You brought a box with you. Um, I There's multiple boxes here, Here, actually. you open this one. I'll open this one so we can knock them out at the same time. I don't know what this is. But so, that's a, that's a signed Kepler album. Oh, sick. Um, and I had bought a La Seraphim album at Target. So, we'll just open them up and see who we get as our photo cards. Oh, what was shit. that? There's stuff falling out of it. Here, there you go. There's like a secret. Oh, what is that? Well, it's a Polaroid. Of who? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. What a surprise. Where did this come from? Has that been the Kepler album? I was going to say, is that part of the Kepler one? What a fun wow. gift. Wow. All right. We're in the, we're in the broadcast. <laughs> With a little crown on. Dude, that's so sick. Beautiful. Also, got this M -wave I got an M Wave one. I got a Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Who, this album's awesome. Who signed it? Gosh, that was hard. I don't know. Who is it? Oh, my gosh. I never know the Kepler signatures. We'll figure that one out. We'll Google that. We'll get back to you on next week's episode. <laughs> oh, of my Dragon gosh. Ball Z. Look at this awesome Dia photo. Dude, that's legit. Polaroid, dude. Dude. And she gave herself a little crown. Oh, and it my says, gosh. I love you. Um. All right. Time to go to our good old-fashioned stats and info department. To check the... Uh, See who signed his album. I don't think I know who that is. At all. So we're going to open up your La Seraphim album. We'll figure we'll it out. We'll see what album or photo Shout card Shout out to the here. first hardest working member of our podcast, Reddit. Reddit. Ah, oh, La Seraphim. Who is this? It is. Oh, Burn awesome. all forbidden things. Ignite your desire. Dude, is that. Uh, it's uh, Chaewon. I was going to say, is that oh, perfume? Is it like all Chaewon? That's Maybe. cool. There's a CD. It's like a little one. Speaking Ooh. of Chaewon. This is Cheon. Is it really? It has to be. Hey, it's got like bunny ears. That's sick. Let's so we go. got Cheon signed. Uh, okay. Che, well, yeah, che Wan. Okay, che Wan. okay. You oh, know? wow. Yeah. It's like a, a so it's kind of like a jewel case, I guess. Does it have her on the CD? Because that'd be sick. She is in every photo and the photo card. And. <clears throat> no. Nope. nope, it's just burnt. For anybody who's curious, it's just like a blank. Like, random. Does that mean there's one for everyone? You just don't know who it's going to be? Uh, because this was the front, so I guess that it means this is the Che Wan Stop one. Stop on the journey. It doesn't say Che Wan, does Maybe it? Maybe really, it's just random. You don't know. Oh, well, I we got Che Wan. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Is it time to go buy more? <laughs> now I'm just, yeah, because they were, uh. Because these are, like, little ones. They're not, like, the big album. It's, like, a little album. Is that, like, reflective on the front of it? Yeah, it's very cool. Oh, my goodness. It's, like, a little mirror. Well, and she's like that burning, was cool. burning through the card. Well, that was worth going to Target for sure. Shout out to Hikaru for Whoa. being my little special card. Gotta put that in the old, uh, the old shelf. You're right. I'm gonna put this on my light stick holder when I get my light stick. That'd holder be sick. For freaking forty bucks. <laughs> oh, the fancy one. Yeah. This is awesome, actually. I love this card. Look at Hikaru. It's like thick too. It's very cool. All right, now I got this love struck over. Right. I've never even seen the album. For I this, have I not know. either. Whoa, it's like Powder Puff Girls. It's like uh, it really is. It's really cool. I got the pink one. Whoa! Oh my gosh! There's so Who much did stuff we get? Uh, mm, this is. What is that? You like open it? It's a oh, it's a message or something in there. Anything else oh there? my gosh! Look Goodness. at this. We wow. are here. Oh look, you have Chan making a heart with herself. Oh, yeah, it is. I was like, who's this other person? It's a mirror. Who's this other person? I don't even recognize who that is. Oh, my gosh. Those are cool. Giddy. Yeso, take a, get out of take here. a moment and let Yeso shine. It's got a heart Whoa, on it. Whoa, that's actually pretty sick one. That is very cool. I got Whoa. a big postcard of Young Man with cake. That's cool. And Hikaru with an ice cream. And you got stickers. Good. I got stickers. Giddy. Are they like this was a really good ones or just like random ones? Uh, I don't Is know. Is it time to go get another tattoo? I kind of... Yeah, get a giddy one. Just a little heart. 
That is a message that I don't know what it says. It's alright, I'm gonna translate it for you. You might have to rip. Oh, we got a poster of the whole squad. That's, That's actually awesome. pretty cool. It's like really shiny. That's really cool. I hope the inside are just as love struck. <laughs> it says, you suck, but we love you still. In America. That would be awesome, actually. I would support I would that support. Ooh, and a beautiful photo book. Kepler, go on a tour so we can it see says, you. It says, in my eyes, I can only see you. That's so awesome. Love struck. That's so sick. Love sick girls. Time to get the tap. Oh my gosh, Kepler's That's the a nice best. Photo book, I man. do love what Kepler a cool so album. much. The one thing I will say about all of these groups like this is they always like pack everything into these little... They got good albums. Oh my gosh, I do love them. Riverdale. Come on a tour. Yeah, Kepler, come to America. Just come to Chicago for like an hour. Oh. Can we just do that for like an hour concert? Just play a couple... Just play a couple songs. That was awesome. What a sick album. And you got Chan. Chan, I'm so hyped. The angriest, so, apparently the angriest person in the world. Just angriest, laziest, <laughs> most hard-headed. Those are cool. Star of all time. She was the number one draft pick. She so. was the winner of everything. I like this little container they got. Yeah, it's very cool. It like, fits together so perfect. Good job, Chan. All right, that was Thank sick. Thank you for that. Thank you for giving me this. All right, well, that was worth it. <sighs> I and just love this. this is awesome Dia Polaroid. Yeah, shout out to that being beautiful. I just can't stop looking at it. I just like the crown that she gave herself. She knows she's a queen. What are you going to do? Absolutely. All right. What is the fun So, the for fun the first time here? ever on this podcast, yeah. we have an entire episode dedicated to one of our listeners. Wow. What I a know. moment. What a moment. He goes by Wetworks Customs on our Discord. I don't know where else he even is. So, that's... That is the Discord name. Yes. Him and his girlfriend have sent us an awesome package because he knows we love energy drinks yep. and he wants us to try some stuff. I have no idea what's in here because I did not open it yet. I did see there was a card. Oh. So I do know that that's here, so we'll read this card, right? Go for it. So it says, KPK, that's us. Dudes, that's us also. That's us, I think. Thank you again for the podcast. Also, thank you, Fog, that's me. For taking the time to upload to YouTube and make the playlist. If you guys don't know, we have a YouTube channel and we have a bunch of like reaction videos, seasons, random stuff on Pretty there. Pretty much everything. But I have it all separated so it's easy for people to find stuff. Mm -hmm. Mainly because of this weird OCD problem with notes in the uh, list. You have no idea how important people like you two are. Wow. No one's ever told me that in my That's life. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard in my life. I don't life. know if my family's ever told me that. The world is full of people talking about people and things they don't like. Yes. Don't ever go on Reddit or Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's important that people also take time and spend the time on things they actually enjoy. Yes. Absolutely. And that overall is what I get from your podcast. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, citizen. Thank you, Wetworks Customs. Thank you, Wetworks Customs. Nicest card ever. So, like I said, I don't know what's in here. There's a bunch of random stuff. There's drinks we're going to try to drink for. Him. His favorite segment is when we try random drinks on the show. We were hoping and, at least one person liked it and we and were right. Surprisingly, a few people like it. I don't know what it is, but... First, we have this thing of kimchi, super hot stir-fried ramen. I have had this before. It's very spicy. Do not use the whole sauce packet. Very hot. Okay. <laughs> and then there's instructions for how to cook ramen noodles. So Beautiful. I will definitely eat that eventually. Absolutely. After the way my stomach's been going tonight, maybe not tonight. But eventually <laughs> it will happen. Whoa, there's it so many happen. drinks. Oh my gosh. Latte. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? Dude, sweet and spicy popcorn like That bugles. sounds... So good. You're right. We're cracking these open up. Open it open now. Open it up. We'll make this. We'll eat this. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Do it. Wow, it smells awesome. How are they? They're pretty good. Hmm. Wow. It really tastes like sweet and spicy bugles. I really <coughs> oh, it's right. <coughs> that was so good for a second. Got him as epiglobus. Mm. <coughs> I'm choking on it. Man, that's pretty good. They are. All right. Mm. I hope you guys are enjoying this ASMR most eating and opening things right now. Oh, yeah. It's going to get better. 
Um, once we go through some of this stuff, he actually has a story he sent us about how his girlfriend who got it. Actually, that heat kind of it sneaks up. It, on it really does. We literally just had spicy hot pot, and that thing is just like um, whooping me. About how his girlfriend got into K-pop many years ago, and that's how it got him into K-pop. So I will also read that here for him. Oh yeah, I'm anxious to hear that. Whoa. What are okay, those? Okay, here we go. What are those? This is what we're looking for. Open the bag up. So, also, shout out to him, like, custom wrapping all of these. Mm. So, one of them I have had before. Um, I don't know if Justin's had it before, but I've had <clears> it. <throat> I'm going to go out on a limb and tell you right now, not great. It just says, like, straight black coffee. What is it? The BTS... Uh, drinks. Oh, the ones from Asia. Coffee Mart. drinks, yeah. The, is it the same ones they have there? Yeah. Who did I get? So that I'm not going to try because those, I have had that before and it was not great. I like these individual wrapped items though. But this I will try. There's That's... a strawberry on it that can only mean good. Also, I hope none of these need to be refrigerated. It should be in a box for like a week. Yeah, it's okay. Weeks. They haven't been opened yet. It's fine. This is like Christmas. This is the best. It really is. So, this isn't like Vietnamese. So this is called Sting, Sting Energy. Made by Pepsi. Okay. And it looks like it's red ginseng, berry blast flavor, four years old. This sounds awesome. This, I don't is that, think this is that the age limit? I don't know. <laughs> don't give that to a but child. I do have some of these mini cups here. We need that. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the fa- Whoa, that's a I good I don't even pop. know which member. Honestly, it smells this. pretty good. Oh, it's red. It's red. Indeed. Is this just like red... Oh, it's just very red. Wow, it smells very good. Mmm. It's actually real good. It's real good. You know, honestly, compared to a lot of energy drinks, wow. that, that's actually pretty solid. This is delicious. This might be like the best. Why is this not strawberry a thing flavored? I can buy at a gas station? Okay, well, that's honestly maybe the best energy drink we've had all year. Holy crap. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste mm. either. Is that ginseng? It tastes real it tastes real solid after those chips. Dang. This must be what she was talking about. What is it? He told me his girlfriend was really excited for us to try this water. Oh, gosh. I don't like this. It's not Dasani, let me tell you. This is seltzer water. Uh, <laughs> from Mango flavored from Kroger. Ew. Here we go. There's like, each one of these has like little notes on them. I know. It's elite. Thank God, because we're dumb. So, reading is... We my, would definitely mess this up way worse. Not already. my strong suit. Especially at like 1 in the morning. Mm -hmm. This should be noticeably better than the other non-sweet sparkling waters. Noticeably. Or, here we go, quotes. Or at least, no, noticeably not as bad. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to jive with that. They're pretty bad, so. Thank God I didn't shake the box. I didn't realize all these. I mean, it smells good. It's from Kroger? Yeah. I do like me a Kroger. Kroger is nice. It has Starbucks in it sometimes. Clear, but I guess you would expect that. All right. Ugh. What does he mean better? No, it's not better. <laughs> I don't know. It's not LaCroix, but it's not good. No, honestly, I agree with the no. I don't know. It's not very good. I don't like it. I don't know How what do it is. How do people like these things? I don't know what it is, but sparkling water. Oh, I just can't do it. it. Okay, so here's my thing. Sparkling water literally tastes like what a vacuum cleaner smells like uh, when you get stuff stuck in it. You know just, what I'm talking about? Yeah. I will say, it doesn't leave as a weird of a fizzy flavor. It's not as fizzy as the other ones. At the end of it, but it's definitely not Is good. that the not as bad written here? Like, is that, is that <laughs> I think that so. Means? If that's the case, I mean, right. I did not really like it, because I just don't like that flavor. Oh, we also have this uh, little koala bear cookies. That Strong sounds good. Koala bear cookies. We'll set those up. Those are... Uh, these are going to be a win. Whoa. What is that? Oh my gosh. It just burped. It's a seltzer water, bro. Oh gosh. This is a freaking Digimon Taro milk tea drink that has a Gabumon on the front. What? <laughs> Where's this coming from? This is awesome. I like how this says best before, month, date, year, and it says shown on package. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just trust us, dude. Just it's okay. Guess. Oh, it's good. on the bottom of this. It's good until January 11th, 2025. Oh, man. We can let that set for a while. Shake well. Best served chilled or over ice. Store nah. in a cold, dry place. Avoid direct sunlight. 
What? Well, we did some of those things. Is this like a freaking gremlin? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a flower. I do love Taro, and I love Milk Tea, so... And I love Digimon when I was, like, nine. Shout out to Digimon. I know. It says... I never trust any drinks that say shake them, but they're carbonated. That doesn't make sense. Like the... Like you know the trap. coffee drinks? Like the double shot espressos? Yeah. They're like, like, shake gently, but you shake it and it explodes everywhere. Seems like a trap. So... Just to make you look like a fool. Oh, that's okay. Mmm. Smells like taro milk tea. Oh. It looks, looks like it, too. <laughs> it looks muddy. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Mm, okay, what do we got? Okay, okay. That's actually pretty good. It tastes pretty, like taro milk. Yeah, tea. it's pretty good. If you guys remember taro, it's pretty it's, solid. That actually is really good. Mm, tasty. It's like a it's good like purple yam. It's like a good amount of sweet. It's actually really good. I like it. That's solid. Real smooth. What else we got? Good here? choice. That's you a got, crazy uh, can. What is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll have to get some new cups for this. This seems like it's going to be a good one. What is it? So the can, it says, it looks like this, right? Whoa. And it says, melon ice cream flavor. Just what? try it. What? <laughs> All right. Well, ne let me just tell the podcast right now, I've never had a drink I, that was melon ice cream. You know what? I'm getting clean cups for this one. Never had melon ice cream either. Wow, I'm, this I'm, is what the show is about, right? I'm this is looking the foundation forward to this. that the show is built upon. This is this is what I'm looking for right now. Ooh. This could be the best drink we've ever ever had in our lives. Melon ice cream, that sounds sick. It does sound really good. Extremely good. It is smells it, like melon. Is it like a soda? Yeah, it is. I think. Yeah. I will say these foreign cans wow. from like Vietnamese cans are like really this solid. This green color is nice. Oh, it smells very good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't know where the ice cream comes in, but definitely has a I don't a really know the ice cream. Good, it tastes like melon. It has a really good melon flavor. It actually tastes just like melon. It's actually really good. I'm very impressed. I like it. I would buy it. Huh. I'm not sure of the ice cream part, but that's okay. Maybe the ice cream does just taste like that. So it's like, I was going to say, so far, mm. besides the uh, seltzer water that I already knew was going to be a fail before we drank it. Right. Um, Naturally. The one's been pretty good. What else we got here? We got a couple more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. What's it this says, one? Is that a Pepsi? This is Ocean Bomb. It has like Mega Man on it. What? That sounds awesome. It says... I gotta get the little note so I know what I'm doing here. You true, true, true. Absolutely. Man, these cans are like sturdy. Like, yeah. These things are like... It's different than the Like cans. I can't like squeeze it. It's, yeah. like, it's not American. It's because we recycle all of our cans to make new cans. I feel like that's just as eventually cans. leads to no cans. That's what I'm thinking. Fairly light energy drink, but good in my opinion. Also, I don't know if you wrote this, your girlfriend wrote it, but shout out to your penmanship so you can actually read what it says. After working in a place all day where you can't read anything because everyone has terrible handwriting, including myself, it's nice to be able to read something legible for once. It is know? really nice handwriting. Been very accurate with descriptions too. Hmm, smells good. It's also green. This color is not matching the can, so it's kind of freaking it's me out. It's also a greenish. All right. This is like light green. Oh, it smells like tart. It kind of just tastes like a generic energy drink, honestly. Mm, yeah. I wouldn't say it's like... It's, it's, it's like he's right. It has a very light flavor. It's like a sweet tart. If you take like a monster and take all the super strong flavor out of it and water it down. It kind of tastes like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not my favorite one, but it's okay. <clears throat> it's refreshing. Ooh, what is this? Cookies? <laughs> is it a puppy? Dude, this thing's like wrapped up, wrapped up. Oh. Whoa. It's a drink. It is a drink. Ugh. There's just so much tape and... Oh, oh my yeah, gosh, there these it is. Are quadruple. There this it is. is. This must be the strong stuff. This is stuff. like the main event. Are you legally allowed to send this across country? Honestly. I don't even know. There's no note on this one. Is it a cream drink? Yeah. Ooh. This thing's like... Is this gonna like... Is this like a five-hour energy? 
Tell him to get out the stats and info department so we can translate this. I have no idea. It's not a very big bottle. Cheer up. Buy power. Contains 500 milligrams of vitamin C. It's like an orange juice? I <laughs> guess we're going to find out. Oh, is it uh, Sunny D? I guess the worst that will happen is that we uh, have a heart attack and die. Oh. So I want to find out, huh? Let's unwrap it. There we go. Ooh. It smells like orange. Just straight like... I was going to say, maybe it'll be Sunny Delight in a way. Try it's got a cool can. I know, this thing was like super wrapped. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's um, golden. Hmm, I don't know. Kind of syrupy. I don't really know oh, what. Cheers. It, it kind of smells like your medicine. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Ooh, that is interesting. It's not like good, but it's not like bad. I kind of like it. Really unique. It is. It's not bad. I like it. I don't know what the heck that is or what know, it was supposed to be. Need, like a shot of vitamin C, so that's good for you. Yeah, that's healthy. That's right like there. drinking that's like a, seven oranges. That's a healthy, right? Healthy shot right there. Here I we like go. that. The piece of law resistance. Oh my gosh. We got the old summer freeze. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. The newest do. The most. I'm just gonna save all these Ziploc. Is that we'll Korean? Super Asian and just save all these Ziploc bags. Just, Dude, you should. I know. Just use them for stuff. All right. Last one. Summer freeze. The, the new, new summer edition Mountain Dew. Dew. Gotta get a clean cup for it's these. It's a bomb guys. pop, right? Yeah, it's supposed to like be supposed Mountain to be. Dew with a blast of summer Americana. Oh right, cool. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> Always love when they have like the description of the flavor, but it's like not a flavor. I'm also glad this is our last drink of hitting a wall here. I was gonna say we've had a lot of drinks. There's a lot of drinks in here that have actually been very, very solid. Good. My stomach's just kind of not in the best place right now. I just know? don't know how this do one's gonna finish it out. That's pretty good. No, I've, I mean, this is the only one I've, like, had before. Oh, like, a little bit, yeah. That I've had before, and it's definitely not bad. It's pretty good. It's very blue. It tastes like a bomb pop. Mmm. All right. Gonna stop that. I can't drink any more of that Mountain Dew yet. <laughs> no more. But. That was good, though. You know, honestly. It's better than a lot of the Dews we tried the one Out time. of all the stuff that you <clears throat> gave us, I'd say all of them were really good. Honestly, I liked every one, except the water. I, I was really impressed with the sting. That sting's good. I think my other favorite one is that uh, taro milk tea. Yeah, that was really good. But I love milk tea. Um, they're all good. Then I like the melon. I thought Mega Man was okay. Um, the mel I like the melon one a lot. I thought it was very good. And then I like this. This, this little vitamin Korean C shot thing's pretty cool. It was very interesting, but I like the flavor. I feel like if I had like the super flu again and I like took that, you'd be instantly better. It'd like heal me instantly better. It's like Dayquil in a bottle. Wow. Actually, they did make those once, right? Yeah. So we went to the gas station when I oh, didn't gosh. feel good one time. This is before, <laughs> but this one I had the COVID the second time, right? Yeah. Didn't know we had it. Went to the gas station. Felt like crap. Walked in the gas station. They had little shooters, like five-hour energy shooters of Dayquil and NyQuil. Really? That's Took weird. a Dayquil one. Worst thing I've ever had in my entire life. Never do it. It tasted so bad. All right. Great. Imagine how bad liquid Dayquil tastes <laughs> like, but like in a condensed shot. Like it was like this big. Better to just be sick. <laughs> Honestly, that's up there on the list with the powdered um, Tylenol. Tylenol from Walgreens. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. That's gonna be like what consuming uh, smelling salts is like. Yeah, that is like terrible. Just not good. Also, that and the weird fancy coffees you can buy from the Japanese store that are like locally made in Chicago for like eight dollars. Those was are terrible. What was that called? Did I have I it? Don't, no, other Justin had it with me. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what No, that other is. Justin had it with me, and he, like, gagged. <laughs> he, didn't, he could barely drink it. I, like, shot mine down because it was expensive. Yeah. He, like, threw his away because he couldn't drink it. Dang. Arm but strong. These, uh, these drinks were good. Also, shout out to these, like, corn puff, spicy corn I actually puff. really liked that. It was spicy. It got me pretty good, but I thought it tasted amazing. Also, shout out to this uh, BTS... Yeah, we didn't drink the I'm gonna cold I'm going to take brew. a guess on who this is. I'm not sure who it is. Um, I don't know. I, do, I just will never know. Based off my I extensive know knowledge, I'm going to say that this is... I don't know. Does he have his name on her? It's weird. I don't think it did. What's the youngest one? Jungkook? 
Is that his name? That's probably it. That's probably him. I can tell by his uh, thin ankles. That's gotta be That's him. dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. All right, well. I do know that, yeah, we've seen these at Age Mart. Thanks for the care package. Yeah, that was literally so fun, actually. Like, that's like awesome. So, like I said, I didn't look in it. I had no idea what was going to be in there. So, I've not awesome. seen anything until we just opened it. Now, I've got all these drinks to finish. Not going to be tonight, but yeah. I will put them in my refrigerator, drink them. They will get, hey, let me tell you, they will get finished. They will get finished. Now, for the last part of our show here, we have a story, story that time. he gave us that I have not pre read. That's okay. You got it. So, if I stop, it's because the basic English confuses me. <laughs> I can't read. Or there's like some information that he put that I don't want to put on there because it's like private. Sure. So the last part of our whatever we just did series in this one episode is going to be what works girlfriend's K-pop story that leads into his K-pop story. Because mm-hmm. if you don't remember, for all the people who haven't listened to us for the last three and a half years we did an episode a long long time ago about how people got into k-pop because everyone gets into it differently right and they like all sent us their stories so this is kind of piggybacking off of that many yeah. years later keeping it alive <clears throat> my girlfriend's k-pop story her music background started listening to nirvana when they came out then went into metal and punk as we all did. Yep, pretty much. She also got into anime, and because it was already popular at the time, it was easy to find J-pop and J-rock, so she got into that as well. Okay, seeing, yep, that makes sense. transition. You know what? Is this really just all of our stories right now? <laughs> she was introduced to K-pop back in 2003. Wow, I was... I don't know how old they Let were. Let me just say that was before me. I was going to say, I don't know how old... Before I, I was introduced to it. how old they were, but I was... 2003. I would have been in... 20 years ago. Sixth grade. Yeah. Pretty crazy. There was a TV channel in Washington that played Asian dramas and would sometimes have music videos in between. So they'd like Korean VH1. That's cool. I was going to say, shout out to this place in Washington having that channel in 2003. I know, right? She was just looking for other things to watch besides American shows. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Besides American shows that she'd already seen in between shows she saw Come On by the Turtles. There's also a link here, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll put it as a song at the end of the... Yeah, fair. The end of the podcast. I hope it doesn't get us banned. Yeah. And it was immediately very curious about the music. Watch this be like the biggest banger of all time. It's probably whatever this turtle song is. Well, she was telling me about this. She didn't remember the song title, but we searched for the group name and finally found the video. Her eyes got a little watery, which is huge for her, because I think I've only seen her cry two times in the 14 years we've been together. That is a very long time. Those are two happy cries for sure. I know, honestly. It's okay, I've only cried twice too. And it was uh the last St. time I St. Louis, saw, Atlanta. I was three times. Uh, it's all the times because I think she had to Atlanta. leave. Um Most of what she could find is in Korean, maybe some random English. I really can't read right now. English. So she did her best to figure out what that was. She was able to get familiar with Rain, Big Bang, and 21 because of her bigger names, but not much else because Google Translate or anything like that wasn't really available. True. She said one of the best resources ended up being other fans you randomly meet. You know what's crazy? You randomly meet fans. You know how hard it's supposed to randomly meet people? Very I was just going to say, how difficult was it back then? I guess it was, well, it says... Uh, she uh, games a lot online and happened to here. meet other K-pop fans in different gaming clans she was in. Okay. They would also do their search, do their searches and share with each other what they found. She says back then they used Ventrilio and Skype. Skype existed back then? Why does Skype not exist now? What happened I'm to Skype you, when COVID happened? Okay, well, that's my, I, that was one of my biggest questions, is COVID happened. It was time for Skype to put up record numbers. It's what it's made for. And then it was like, boom, Zoom is the thing. And Google is the thing. I'm like... Skype just dropped biggest fumble in history. Yeah, how did that happen? I don't know. Because that's, that's how we, we used, started our podcast. I was like, that's how we used before we were in person was Skype. Skype was always the before video. COVID existed. It was always the video message, you know, computer thing. And then the COVID app was like Zoom. I'm like, did Skype just like fail? Like, I don't know. I don't that know. is really weird. I always thought that was weird. Anyway. As far as actually getting into music aside from the MP3 sites, they had a system where they would use something like a Korean hotel address to register accounts. Then they could purchase digital music or have things shipped. They're able to get albums and clothes and other merch like posters, etc. Why have we never done that? That is actually the craziest thing I've ever heard. Wait, so they they created a fake Korean address? Yeah. 
where'd the stuff get shipped to? Well, it said that you would use something like a Korean hotel address to register accounts. So they like register oh, accounts. Oh, so that's down. how you got in. Yeah. And then they shipped it to them. Yes. Because you know they always have like Korean stuff you got to register. They yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a, well, Damn. I guess they made it a little easier now for people in America to do yeah, stuff. But back then know. it probably was like you got to be in Korea to get Korean stuff. That's genius though. That's Gosh. so cool. Is she like the freaking smartest person in the world? That's so cool. Damn. Man. That's Master's awesome. degrees do not cover that's, this. That's awesome, man. That'll last until about 2009 when Drama Fever, which is say it was life changing. I do know Drama Fever loved that when I was like in high school, like at the end of it, I'd watch like K dramas, like High Kick Through the Roof and stuff on mm-hmm. there. It's pretty sick. Came out and they were able to search a lot easier and get familiar with a lot more music groups and dramas from all over Asia. Of course, now it's easy. Of course, now it's really easy to find everything. True. But back then, at least her and her friends, that's how they found anything K-pop related. See, if BTS had to go through that, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Well, everything had to fall in those exact steps to be where K-pop is today. She also wants me to add that she and her friends were teased a lot and looked at as weird the entire time because K-pop's not popular as it is now. They went through a lot to find and enjoy K-pop back then. I'm also guilty of thinking she is weird because I didn't get into it until about 2019. And yes, I feel bad, and that brings us to my story. Hey, you know what? You can't be made fun of being weird by other friends because Justin's my only friend, so. <laughs> Boots. Yeah, I know, right? Um, and my mom, but she doesn't care. What? So, when did they start? To, they've been together 14 years? Yes. And I guess I don't know what year they got together. 14 years from now, 2009, they started dating? Was because twenty three yeah be around two thousand nine. So they so they they dated like ten years before he actually got into K pop. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I just wanted to know like when, when they. I mean that could let be, us know. That could be off. I know very, you're listening to this. That could so be very wrong. <laughs> but I didn't know if it was around. Like I wanted to know, but where like how long did you date before you actually were like? Because you said she was weird, but then it transitioned. It was like a ten year transition. That's pretty crazy. So or, that was all, like or that was all incorrect, I don't know. A senior in high school, 2009, so I graduated high school. 19, 19 was a couple years after we really got into it. That was the start of the podcast. Yeah, it was, September 2019. So, this gives us part two of his story. I mentioned bits and pieces in the server, but here's my story in order. Oh yeah, so get, those of you who don't know, the way he found us was that he found our podcast. I think he told me how, I just don't remember. But uh, he literally made an account on Instagram just to message us and ask for a link to the Discord so we could come join us. And then he like deleted his Instagram account. Dang! <laughs> and he came and hung out with us. Just like his wife or his girlfriend made the fake address. It's all dude. That's still, like the most ingenious thing. All this, all the same thing. Um, and actually, just yesterday was it yesterday or two days ago? I don't remember. He uh. Got his girlfriend into the Discord too, mm-hmm. so now they're both there. Mm-hmm. But for a long time, it was just him. Yep. So now they're both there. Um, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I read this line already. Whatever. I mentioned bits and pieces in the server, but here's my store in order. As mentioned, my girlfriend had already been into K-pop for years, but I was never interested at all, and just thought it was weird. Why was she listening to something she just sounded like J-pop but in Korean? I'm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, I know they're not the same, but some old K-pop does have similar with some stuff for the wall, with some of the wall J-pop, which I mean, it's true. They do kind of have like, the older stuff's a lot different than the stuff now. It's kind of just like music in general. On top of that, I'm Japanese and was probably immersed in anything from Japan. There we go. That's what we're wondering. So it's Japanese. There yeah. We go. We're yeah, wondering. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I only got into K-pop by accident. Well, looking at anime songs, of course, brother. That's how we all got into it. That's crazy. I somehow came across this Banana Lemon. You know, it's funny. I've definitely heard the song before. I'll have to I'll have to show it to you after the show, but I've heard it before. It's like it came on one of my like um, Discover Weekly recommendations a long, long time ago. Actually, I think I showed it to you one time when you we were driving, and then it was in like the same Discover Weekly as uh, the fake rapper song that you like. I forgot who sings that. Some oh, the one dudes. Yeah, no, that that song's awesome. Uh, in I don't remember that though. I don't remember that. This group is under XG's parent label, and four of them are now in SG Five. Whoa. These were more modern sounding than most J-pop, and I really like the feel. But these were adult themed, and there was some swearing. It was, 
and I was at the same time trying to find dance music for our daughter's birthday party. Mm, <laughs> tough, tough, tough. Wow. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> not this one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Somewhere in all my clicking, YouTube was like, hey, you might also like Blackpink. And I wasn't paying attention and clicked on it. I don't remember even... Wasn't or don't even remember attention. what video it was. I just started going through all the videos and suddenly goes, uh oh, this is Korean. I think it's K pop and I might actually like it. I didn't want to be I didn't want to, but I kept watching. I go and show my girlfriend, she's like, uh, sweetie, this is K pop. I was disappointed in myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to convince myself that Korean people singing pop songs in Korean was somewhat not Korean or K pop. Man. Tough day. Dude, you really just went through all the cycles of grief Tough in like day. 30 seconds <laughs> trying to find birthday songs. Oh, this next line is the same for everybody. I kept watching, later found Red Velvet Ice Cream Cake, which mm-hmm. was what really caught my attention, and then clicked, yep. And then I clicked on Red Flavor, yep. and that was what sealed my fate. Honestly, we've gone back, you all, you've listened to it, and we've talked about it. One of the first things we ever heard was Red Velvet um, at Dream Concert 2015. I, ice Cream Cake is what got me in, like, in it to win it, like... Red Velvet. Hate, hate was the song that got me interested, but then re- seeing Ice Cream Cake was like, that was the song. It's like, okay, you're into K-pop now, and here we are. So, But it's like, that's the Ice song Cream Cake was in like, the group that's like the gateway drug to K-pop for so many people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of like um, All Time Low somehow is just the gateway drug to like metal, hardcore music. Did I ever tell you that? What? Or did you just say that right now? Well, I feel like a lot of people that start listening to that and oh, like, I was gonna to say, it, just, like start listening to heavy music. I was going to say, I had a friend way back in college, like my freshman year of college, I talked to it and he like said those exact words. It's true. He was like, oh, all time low, just a gateway drug to hardcore. It's like you start listening to that and you'll go, oh, this is kind of cool, which is basically like punk pop music, kind of poppy. It like gets heavy. And then you get into of. like poppier, like punk rock, like, yep. you know, or like, uh, There's like a little scream, pop punk. Kind of screaming. And then next thing you know, you're listening to like freaking his blood runs black. Everything like gets Artist a little Murder. louder. Yeah. You know, and then it's just like off the wall. You got a bunch of beat down hardcore. That's funny. Thrown though. down in the pits. Like, it's just like, it's weird. You don't think about it, but it happens. That is funny. Because I remember before we got into that, I was talking to this girl. I think it's funny because I feel like I start a lot of stories like this, but this is a different girl. I don't think we've ever talked about it on here before. I was right. talking to this girl. A long, long time ago, before I even went to Warped Tour the first time, mm. and she went to Warped Tour somewhere. It might have been St. Louis or something. This is before I realized you could get in a car and travel places to see things. And she know, like right? went, and she like went to Warped Tour, and the one song she was really into was um, uh, that Gift of One Liner song by Cute Is What We Aim For. Right, yeah. And it was like that, All Time Low, um, what was the other one? That kind of uh, like forever the sickest kid. Emo pop punk was very popular. And then, then that's when I started listening to that type of music. And before that, I never really listened to it. I mean, it was like some Blink One Eight Two, but that was like on the radio, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like Slipknot and stuff, which was different. Mm-hmm. But then as soon as I listened to that, I was listening to the other groups that were at Warp Tour, and that's how I progressively got into more and more like heavier songs mm-hmm. after that. So that's how that happened. Well, I feel like you just do the transition of like all time low, a day to remember, then boom, as blood runs black. Yeah. So I watched all their vids after that. 100% love with Red Velvet ever since. For an entire year, I listened to a Spotify playlist that had all of their songs while meaninglessly grinding Destiny 2. You know, that was me, except I was printing t-shirts in a t-shirt factory in a literal sweatshop. There we go. It's beautiful. I've since left the game, and of course I listen to other views, but I haven't stopped listening to Red Velvet. <laughs> Man, let's go. What a great song. I use BBB, or BBB, BBI, BBI, whatever it is. Showed up in my Rex during all this, so she ended up being my favorite solo artist. Also, everyone loves IU. And also, the reason I ended up watching K dramas. As far as the birthday parties, I ended up finding twice. Coincidentally, one of the school's janitors at her school had already been playing twice in the gym before classes, or between classes. It was something I just ignored before. Wow, what a lit school. I know, that sounds awesome. Was it, it just sounds cheer like a, up? <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds like cheer up. It's just like a make believe twice school in the music video. You have no idea how much crap my girlfriend gave me when I told her how much I like K-pop. As she should. Yeah. Hey, you deserve it, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Full circle. I feel like I partially deserve it for being so close-minded before, but I really had no idea what K-pop was capable of. I don't think anyone does until it's too late. I still don't think we do. I don't think either. But I still identify as Japanese and, in all capital letters, there's some K-pop idols that are Japanese. Let's go, Momo. He gets it. Yeah, absolutely. What a fun story. That was awesome. Super cool. Yeah, I mean, hey. It's actually really cool hearing his girlfriends and then, like, how that grew into transitioning to him becoming a fan. And, like, here we are. It's kind of really crazy, dope. too, because, like, back a long, long time ago when I was in high school, 
well, when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of anime. Like, I still watch a bunch of them. It's like the late 90s, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. But I used to have a whole iPod playlist. Like, back in the day, I actually, like, had iPods, you know? Mm-hmm. And it had a whole playlist. All it was was, like, intros and outros to, like, anime. So a bunch of, like, Japanese, like, rock music and pop music. Right. And this was way before I even knew K-pop was a thing. This had to be, like, 2006, 2007. Right. So, I mean, that was a long, long time ago. But I've also always been to that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I listen to other stuff like that that I wouldn't really understand. Kind of just the all roads lead to it in a way. Yeah. So, I mean, all's well that ends well as uh, the song that was album hype, by Chiodos would tell you. Yeah, that was hype, though. I We haven't really had anything like that in a long time. So, that was really fun to actually hear about their stories. and like. It's kind of crazy when you hear about people's stories and you're just like, you know what? This is the same thing as my story. Like, how do we get Because they're all different, but then you all relate to the certain moments when they're like, and then I got deeper into it because it's such and such. And you're like, I know that moment and for me. Saw like, Red Velvet. I know the first thing that caught my eye. And then the first thing that you looked up and watched everything. You know, it's like everyone has that same thing. It's just different how they got there. Uh, I always think that's cool. Maybe we'll have to do another thing like that eventually. I remember the last time I saw Pixie a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I cried man, and have been sad ever since. For the rest of my life. Seriously, but that was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, before we leave, for everyone listening this far, I forgot I was going to tell you this. I have a great segment I'm going to start here. Mm -hmm. And this is, in no means, the end-all, be-all list, but this is the first ever installment of my Pixie Power Rankings, where I rank my favorite members in order for this week. I think a good, yeah, I think that's a great idea. So. But I think this deserves a sponsor. Oh, True. So this is going to be sponsored by our friends. Absolutely. And uh, teammates slash partners in crime who we shouted out on our reaction video that literally got banned in the uh, entire world. It was such a good one, too. Thanks, Mnet. It's the worst people ever. Uh, Cork STL in yes. St. Louis. They are the first ever K-pop store in Missouri. That's crazy. Who is also Billboard certified. Mm. So any purchases you make through them or through their store online counts towards the record sales for the K-pop groups in America. That is crazy, actually. It's pretty sick. Very cool. So, I will actually... I was going to say, I'd put tell you what the address is for the like website. But I'm just going to link it in the show notes. So you can just go look yeah, at the check it out. Go check it out. They're super cool. It's like a legit store store. Like, I mean, like, really nice setup. They have, like... We love it. Light sticks, albums. We win. A really cool owner who we talked to. So awesome. They're just super nice there. The team is awesome. The store is awesome. The they merch- put on events. The merchandise is awesome. They're in St. Louis. It's super, super great. I mean, we went there first before we really even knew them. And we're, like, super happy happy to, like, represent them and have them mentioned on the podcast. Because we, we really love that place, like, a lot. We Definitely, if you like K-pop, go check it out. Um And... The prices on their albums and lights super sticks, good, extremely affordable. You're literally paying like face price for it, so it's not like going to other shops. Mm-hmm. We've been to where it's like you know a twenty five dollar album, paying like fifty bucks. Oh my gosh! So you can literally pre order stuff through them as well for like upcoming albums and stuff like that. Light sticks, everything. Yeah, so it's pretty legit. Like I said, Cork STL in St. Louis, Missouri. If you're ever in the Galleria, go check it out, and I'll link a little. Website thing in the show notes that are, well, I guess it'll show up everywhere we put it. Definitely. But yeah, so they're going to sponsor my uh, first ever installment of my Pixie Power Rankings. There we go. This is definitely something that changes on a daily basis, so. <laughs> <laughs> every hour, every minute. Dep- I think about this a lot. This is actually the only thing I think about, so let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Number one, Dia. Nice. It's got to be Dia. Number two is Lola. Nice. I'm going to say number three is Dajong because mm-hmm. she's just everywhere. She really is. Then four is Sua and five is Renji right now. Nice. So that's my power rankings I got going for this first installment. I like it. Check in next month because it's probably different. <laughs> yeah, next week it could be completely different. True. That's a great list though, top to bottom. Do you have your own power rankings? You yeah, I probably It's also go... a little different than like five people. You know, It's not going to be like 12 people right here. Oh gosh, that's hard. That really gets tough when there's that many people in, like, the nitty-gritty, like, 8 to 10 spots. I mean, for being <laughs> honest, it's, like, Dia's number one and everyone else is number two. Everyone's but, just equal. You know, not two. everyone can be second place either. Um, 
We'll say Ranji can be number one. Sue yeah. can be number two. Okay, okay. Then we'll go Dia, Dodging, and Lola. All right, completely different than mine. Beautiful. Just to let Lola heal on her knee injury. She yeah, hopefully rest. your knee injury gets better. That Honestly, must be like serious. She's like been sidelined for a little bit now. Honestly, I hope she gets a rest when, since she's back home now. But she didn't even get to perform last week for the just yesterday for, for the, the troops. troops. So it must be not great. Mm-mm. But thanks, Cork STL, for sponsoring the most important part of the entire episode that we didn't get to to the last five minutes. Obviously, that we're <laughs> going to cut out everything else and just keep that. But, yes, thank you so much. We love the sponsorship. We love you guys. And we love Pixie and our listeners. Thanks, Wetworks. For Wetworks, us. you're the man. That was sick. You're your girlfriend. The best. We love the stories. We love all the drinks. I'm still drinking them right now. He is drinking them right and now. I would chips. drink more, but I'm like, I can't do it. My stomach's killing me. Yeah, I'm... Um, I'm going to take a few more sips of a few here. But, but I'll definitely drink them tomorrow. But thank you so much for the package. We love it. And we love you guys. But Sorry for anybody who came here expecting music. Maybe next not week. not about that this week. Not about that this week. But yeah, we got you next week. We'll be back. You are the K-Rock Twins Podcast. I'm JT. He is Paul Brawl. And we love you guys. Peace. Later.